look at this <laughs> here I am sitting in this room talking to you guys like it's the good old days as if nothing has changed for a moment it kind of feels like nothing has I want to tell you guys a secret da, 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 da. you know when I was still neck deep in exam revision I would often get myself food from a local fast food joint because I really didn't have time to cook and I'm not that great of a cook to begin with and everything but um, I would very often just find myself writing feverishly like I had this sudden inspiration and I had to get the words down whilst simultaneously shoveling the fries into my mouth and trying really hard not to get barbecue dip on my notebook and by writing I mean like like really writing like I haven't done in a long time like suddenly I had this surge of inspiration that I just needed to channel in into a story obviously it was very inconveniently timed and I was worried that my inspiration would leave the minute my exams were over but I actually feel that I might get this one done now that I've been on holiday I've actually managed to steal away some time to write to properly write down on on my computer or my phone I mean I still love writing on, in notebooks but I have come to the realization that if you want to finish a story it's way more efficient when you do it on a laptop <laughs> I think it was George R. R. Martin who said that writers are either architects or gardeners. Architects being the kind of writers who meticulously plan everything ahead and gardeners being the kind that plant a seed and see what grows out of it. I've tried really hard to be an architect, but alas, I'm definitely a gardener. I mean, my characters just do and say whatever they want and then my plans get all changed up and I have to figure out what to do with them. And I don't know it sounds pretentious, but that's just how it goes. And I enjoy it immensely. The only thing I'm really sure of right now is my main character's name, uh, which is Sesame. I think it's very lovely and her love interest is going to be called Frida. But I'm not gonna tell you more than that, because you're probably just thinking of Sesame Street every anyway. I mean, I really wanted to write about an Avril, but you just think of Avril Lavigne immediately. And like, Sansa is such a pretty name, but because Game of Thrones is the most popular thing to ever grace this earth, you can't really use it and get taken seriously, can you? Such a shame. I've reached the point now where I can't tell if my writing is actually still and boring or if it just feels like that because I've read it and changed it over and over again. So I'm kind of contemplating on showing it to Diana. I mean, God knows it would have to win a Pulitzer Prize before I would ever show it to Marilla, no matter how much I value her judgement. Also another option is to show it to Mr. H, since, I mean, he likes my poetry, always has, and that's the thing that brought us together, so... Maybe, but I don't know if he's in the demographic, so to speak. I don't know why I'm gushing like this. I mean, it's not like I'll ever publish it or anything. Or maybe I could. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not promising anything. But it's kind of a thing that, that's been consuming my life right now. So I wanted to talk about it with you guys. <laughs> um, actually, I have a question. Whether you're a writer, an RPG -er, or a simmer, I want to know how you write, uh, I mean, how you name your characters. Because, I mean, I have this, I kind of have an archive of pretty names in my head. But I think that might not be the case for everyone, so, um, I'm genuinely interested. Where do you find names? What kind of names do you like to use? There must be names that I don't, I've never even heard of that could be great. So, share your favorites down below. Favorite name resources <laughs> <laughs>